Alright, this is Hidden Heavens, Campaign 5, Session 22, Tattle to be determined. Uh, it's going to be a shorter episode uh, due to cons time constraints. Uh, but uh, yeah, instead of <clears> beginning <throat> to sleep, these fuckers are being like, eh, let's do a combat instead. We're all here, we never have Talon on Sundays. Yes, so Talon, aka Chip, the absolutely insane psychotic cat. Wake yeah. up inside the bag. Our friend. So, well, Fizzlebag goes inside the portal. Everything goes ba boom. The portal closes. Uh, Bayo uh, disappears, and a huff of depression and desperation. Um. Okay, Katya, give me the recall. Give me the uh, recap. Well, I <laughs> missed like a second or two, time. didn't I? Yeah. Uh, essentially, we fucked up. Uh, accidentally opened a portal to the abyss because we thought there was a 50 50 chance of it either being a weapon to destroy the abyss or not. And Edith was like, I'll, I'll take that back. That. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> even there. <laughs> you were here for that. <laughs> you were here it for was? that. I'm 90% positive you were here no, for I that. Was not. No, I was not. No, Burroughs was here for we it. We had just okay. gotten like. Fizzlebang had just like cool, popped cool, up cool, the dragon cool. egg and uh, time was frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, so we almost ended the world. Um, because Enix was like, I'll free the souls and that's the thing they want. So to get the coins, I'm gonna do that. And so he did that and it was he it was not a weapon that would destroy the abyss. No, no, no. It was a portal to the abyss. Shit hit the fan. We were trying to figure out how to close it, bouncing stuff around really quick. Uh Fizzlebang was like, Goodbye. <laughs> Jumped in it to close it for us. Uh, we Nat had a funeral for him, uh, like she's been doing with like the burning of the paper, all that shit. Uh, Bay was up top trying to like essentially guide the dragons because the dragons are on their way. Val's on his way. Uh, a lot of shit is happening with that. They're very close, and they will burn us alive when they get here. Especially because now Bayo's not up top to like stop them. Wait, what? Uh, Why are they gonna burn us alive? Because they're pissed. <laughs> they're gonna burn not at us, not at us, but they're gonna burn like inside of here. And we're inside trying to get the eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> Fine. Uh we also let all the Nate like the people like on the way know, like, hey, by the way, that's happening. Uh yeah. don't panic when a swarm of dragons goes and by. When like when this, when Fizzling went to the portal, it seemed like during that la last episode, it seemed like he was a bit more self aware. It was a little less crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't yeah, think he did have a the... moment of lucidity in he a did. weird timey wimey room. Yeah, and Nat talked to him during it. I, I don't think Queen was here for that either. No, I don't think so. There was a lot that you skipped over. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. Okay, the biggest thing to me is was that. So we'll take the next. Okay, bit. but that's at the end of the session. You forgot the rest of it. We'll take the all your turn. Go. No, she's going to play in obscurity. She can just go watch the episode. <laughs> As can you, the viewer. Exactly. <laughs> Why aren't we recapping when you could be listening? <laughs> um. Just show up for the session, forehead. Sorry. It's okay, Queen. We still Anyways, love you. We're cupping uh, your the face. All of us. We. Anyways, actual recap. We came back from uh, where we left off at the statue with the heart and trying to figure out what to do with Yzinsha. And uh, something happened with uh, Uriel, which was what happened uh, in the lore drop that happened with him getting a... having that experience with uh, a, a shard of PB, old Primordial Black, and he came back with a sword and he just kind of waved it around for a second and then dismissed it. Uh, then we went looking around through some of the rooms. The first room that we were able to go into was a, like, fountain area where, like, celestial beings were watching us, and we couldn't figure out what was going on. And then eventually, Fizzlebang suddenly became lucid like a dementia patient and started talking about a whole bunch of stuff. Stuff having to do with time and the cycles in this room was like a nexus point or whatever. 
Okay. And Burnos tried really hard to interact with another version of himself. <laughs> really hard, and it did not go well. Like, re- like he that... tried everything in order to be able to try and interact with, like, a future or past self. Yeah, and, and then eventually Nat Fizzlebang to... was just like, stop. <laughs> yeah. And then Nat was like, can we give them peace? And was trying to figure out a way to like let them all pass on. And it was like, he was like, that's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, and then we had like an actual full conversation with him before he was like, I know I'm losing myself again. And then he lost himself again. And then uh, we continued he, down. He did. What happened was he, he was like being called by someone and then he left for a little bit. And we didn't see him again until the end of the uh, like there was some he was meeting he was late for. Is that he he uh, he white rabbited us. Sort of, yeah. He became aware, like he he became aware that something was coming after him, and so he dipped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we went into a library where uh, Bernos uh, Overula was like, "I want all of these books." And then there were kobolds stealing the books. So instead of talking to the kobolds, he killed them in cold blood. That's not what and happened. And Natalia also did. No, no, that's not what happened, that, you that liar. Is what happened. No, it's not at that all. Nat, try, Nat tried to approach them to talk to them. They freaked out. Nat literally, specifically, non lethally killed every single non-le- one she had Non lethally killed? <laughs> yeah. No, they didn't die. If you listen okay. back, if you listen back they didn't die. It was non lethally knocked out. I specified here's, it. Here's the kicker. You could have talked to them. She tried. But Burnos fired, and that's what kicked off the combat. No, it's Berno, not. If you listen Berula back. Berula started it. <laughs> not Berula if you, started not it if you listen back. Because they were back. stealing the books. Not if you listen back. She sent Nat in to talk to them. Nat went in to talk to them. It went really bad. They freaked out when they saw Nat. Uh attacked nat it started the combat everyone started killing them nat specifically was like don't kill them knocked out one of the kobolds and knocked out the mount that was like pulling their cart and then the dog she sent the dogs up uh with the kobold and the mount and because they were too weak and she wasn't gonna kill somebody who's weaker than her and had the dogs start taking the books up even though she was like just go the dogs were like no 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 complete making a procession collecting books and then leaving so that's what the dogs are doing i know what happened I just mm-hmm. didn't think these were relevant. <laughs> okay, well, from Uriel's perspective, Burnos went crazy. <laughs> Verula went crazy. Okay. And he just stood by the door. Because <laughs> he didn't even get a turn while that was all happening. No. Uh, then afterwards, we went into another room where there was, like, an altar where, like, some skeletons were banging on a door and kept trying to ask us questions. We thought they casted Zone of Truth, and they were like, are you here to help or whatever? And we were like, well, we don't know. We're definitely not for the abyss. And then he just kind of left without doing anything. We followed, and then we went into the room where it was revealed that the big boss guy, boss skeleton, was here under contract and was wishing upon a dying star to get out of it, in which case that was uh, Edix's purview. So they talked, and it was uh, he was stuck here trying to uh, keep a crystal of the abyss, a shard of it, from breaking. And because the dragons were on their way, it's going to break no matter what. So he wanted a way to get the people under his control, their souls free at the very least. So uh, he took the deal. And... By doing so, uh, the crystal broke. We had a roll-off. I lost the roll-off, which means that the abyss opened up, and then Fizzlebank sacrificed himself before we could do anything. I don't know if I buy that Fizzlebank sacrificed himself. Like, I'm pretty sure he's still out there. Yeah, oh, he yeah, no. probably is still alive, but it's ambiguous on to whether he's coming back. Yeah, that's why Nat just had a funeral. We're not really sure. Okay, that's so... So for the combat, is this a situation where we're actually where we're gonna do combat, or are we trying I to think stop we have the to combat? get to the combat? We have to get to, so, so wait, so are we There's in the no hallway combat, outside the room? Yeah, we're still so in we're the outside room the room right that's on fire. No, no, no room is on fire currently. We're still in the room. The, the, the portal we're, just closed. The she, portal okay. just closed. Yeah, that's... I'm looking at Barry's screen. There's a room with a crystal that's on fire. Yeah, that's just still set dressing. It hasn't been put out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that was where the abyss portal opened. Yeah. We're in there. 
Yep. Portal's now closed. There's no fire. Yeah. Is there anything else in the room? Uh, the I'm pretty sure the skeleton servants are still in here. Okay. In the okay. aftermath. And then outside in the hallway is the people that Talia went to go talk to, and that's where the combat is. There's no combat currently happening. Theo There's just no... told us there was a combat tonight. Everything we were explaining is all that has happened. <laughs> yes, Queen, yes. Yeah, okay. I was like, at most, you probably just get to do a combat, and I was like, you know. Yeah, we're heading down. I we're haven't even down. opened my fucking notes of this dungeon in like three weeks, so don't at me. We're adding you so hard. Uh, keep heading down, Theo. Let's everyone just keep going down. It'll be fine. It'll even out. Just keep swimming. Let's go. Let's go. Keep swimming. What do just we do? Keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> God, you know what I can do? I can channel divinity because I can't use my abjure elemental thing, but I can still turn undead. Whoop whoop. Why are we turning undead? <laughs> and, What's going on? And and, yeah, and they... with uh with with Bezelbank going and and being plunged through uh the oh. abyss and being obliterated, uh Katya reappears next to everyone. What's up, guys? She was here. Oh look, and Chip's right there on her token. <laughs> <laughs> well, the skeletons in the room, uh, under the contract, apparently them and any other like servant souls or whatever that belong to that skeleton man are now under edicts's purview um their skeletons I believe that's how collapse as their souls are set free okay oh well good enough uh edicts will uh burst into his normal hellfire back into his armor and will just say well i suppose that could have went better but at least they're not stuck here anymore. That they are not, but if you could avoid opening a portal again, that would be preferable. It's not like I meant to open a portal, my lady. You took a risk. <laughs> you heard him. It was a 50-50 chance. We got the bad end. You know, I th I would have thought you would have been on my side for this. I did free an untold amount of souls from captivity. And oh, impending that. doom from the dragons. And that I do appreciate, but next time we need to be more careful. We could have just ruined the entire world in a moment, Edix. I'm about to say, well, we need one of those signs that, like, days gone since we last almost destroyed the world. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of the keys. Butter. It's in the kitchen. It's literally <laughs> in the kitchen. It's also just days like... right above one that says days that we have, uh, days since we've ruined the budget. The harm like, like, harm's at the it's never zero. gone above zero hours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so we're so we have left the room that had the portal. What's that table right there with all the stuff on it? This one here. Yeah. It, yeah. It was a uh, it was a room full of experimental equipment. Give me a second. I'm trying to pull up that fucking. Uh, I have it here somewhere. Yep. So there's two doors, I'm assuming, the door we came in and the door that's in front of us. Uh, here we go. Well, there's also the one. Uh, Ooh, there's so two we have this door that leads into, like, the portal room, and then we have, like, this one over here that's, like, locked. We never went in. I want to try and pick the lock. We... I mean, don't think we have time. We really don't have time. But what if that's the door we're supposed to go through? Because you said the other door just goes to the portal room. <laughs> no, there's more. There is the there's... country of dragons. Yeah, there, there's a lot more. There's an entire dungeon that we still haven't gone through. Yeah. And yeah, during the whole Edix and Natalia conversation, you just hear yawning coming from Katya's backpack. <laughs> oh, Chip! When I appear, I, like, pull Chip out, and I'm just kind of holding him <laughs> and scratching his head. Yep. All you right, well, then the door that we're supposed to go flail. through. So then let's go through the door that we're, like, supposed to go through, I guess. The question is, which door is that? Because <laughs> there's many. Uh, well, there's one door that we still haven't gone through, and that's the one that they were trying to break down. Well, the, okay, so where I'm looking at on town screen, there's three doors right now. There's the locked one, there's the one that goes, I suppose, to the portal room, and there's the one that we came in. Yeah, this one just goes to the main hall. Yeah. Um, would everyone yeah. like to roll me perception, by the way? Okay. Um, Queenie's like, this is my favorite kind of roll. 28. 
I forgot how health. ridiculous her perception is for half a fucking Ooh. microsecond. <laughs> uh, Edix does not perceive currently. Um, out of the remnants of the portal, something uh round and metallic fell fell from it. Can who who all saw that? Because was it just? You see a I'm pretty sure it's just Queen. Okay, cool. Yeah, just Nat saw nothing. <laughs> okay, so I go and I examine it. <laughs> What's it look like? Uh, you'd have to go through a couple different doors, but. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Go through the doors. <laughs> so it'd be clean. pretty obvious you were going to go look inside there. Yeah, I'll, like, grab this Hallie and take her with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just grab her by the back of her shirt while she's talking to Edix. Just start walking. I'm just like, come here. <laughs> this is like a, uh, you get the sense this room is used to decontam decontaminate. Whenever you pull a, uh, the lever, it casts, um, various spells to uh, remove any demonic influence. Fantastic. Mm, better not walk in I there. I feel like I think that was mentioned very specifically. <laughs> very like, specifically. I, so, I feel like that was mentioned very specifically to pull the levers before we go in here. That felt very pointed to know suddenly. Mm -hmm. So no, it's meant for anyone that like is leaving the room before they go th they go through. They have to pull the lever to like pure like make sure like mm -hmm. yeah, because this because this uh, port this, this essentially the shard mm -hmm. that was a portal was being studied, and people mm -hmm. would go inside there to, to to do experiments and they would have to purify themselves before they were allowed to leave. It's a clean room. Mm -hmm. So should Natalia stay with the lever and pull it when I come out in case there's like residual or what? Uh, the portal's gone at this point, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Just yeah, checking. Okay, yeah. so we so just walk keep pulling that. With my ogre strength gauntlets, I'm so much stronger than I was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, there is a couple of iron grates. Have we not already been in this room? Does Natalia not know how to get in? No one knows how to get in. No one's been inside no, I'm just being yeah. pulled. I just assumed my token was being moved, and I just said... Oh, how did we open... How did you guys get the whole thing with the portal if no one's been in there the room? Over on the other side, there was a window. Oh, Where yeah. my mini is at, there was a window that boss guy opened. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, If I look around, does there look to be, like, any sort of thing to open the doors? Nope. Can I lift them with fruit strength? Uh, roll strength. It's a death on save. Oh, 21. You kind of sweat and you're like, okay, you got it. Huzzah. You kind of like hold I'm it gonna... you're like, okay, hold on. Just someone hold this for a second and you can slip. Yeah, fast. we're going to move the Talia like Atlas. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and like hold it's this fine. for me. She's very, she's very buff. It's okay, fine. you'll have to make uh, you'll have to make strength saves then, uh, Natalia. Mm, okay. I, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, roll a strength save. Um, okay, so Katya. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't that's worry. I'll, I'll read, I'll get, I'll DM me the result, and I'll look at it with Matt. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a there is a helm that fell. A helm. A helm. Okay. It is a bulky eyeless helmet. Eyeless. So like if I put like a so like if I put it on like I can't see. It's it's very large. It's it's like it's like it's almost like it's meant for a creature much larger than yourself. Okay, I'll just grab it for now, I guess, and then go back. Wisdom save. You're the cleric. 22. I hope you pass this. Um, as you pick it up, it begins to resize to match you. Interesting. Do I feel any sort of compulsion to like put it on? It looks beautiful. Like it would fit your head perfectly. As in, you know, it would match your hair. It'd be all sparkly. You're looking at it really good. And then a cat comes out and it smacks your head very, very hard. And you come back to your yeah. senses. Okay. Uh, you know the what I'm going to do before I... 
Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do before I put this on? Later, I'm gonna identify it. So I stick it like on my belt and I head back out. Um, you turn open. around and Natalia uh, shrugged. She shrugged? <laughs> she she shrug, <laughs> shrug. And then they fell. Oh my god. Okay, I pick Nat, it back up. I pick it back up. Can Nat, can Nat try to pick it back up just to save herself here? <laughs> Real strength. Oh, that's 13. How do you not get higher when you have, like, plus four for strength and then, like, plus five for your charisma? Yep, your, so... All your stuff is higher than mine at this point, even though I am the paladin. <laughs> so, you, uh, you, you, like, you lift it up about, like, halfway, and then Katu just comes up, casually pushes it up all the way, and comes down. I like admiring the gauntlet. Nice. Yeah. Roll performance, Katya. Performance. Uh, 18. You do a ladylike flex. Alright. Uh, so let's head deeper into the dungeon, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Ool. And mm. uh, Talon. We're only Arcana. Why did you make me roll? Well, I suppose you could do history if you wanted to roll. It still doesn't <laughs> help. Natural 19 minus 3 makes a 16. No! It's an 11. I have a plus 2 to my intelligence. <laughs> so yeah, Chip technically does not speak, by the way. He grunts and points, but his wisdom is enough to cover his inability to speak to where people generally get what he's saying. So, oh so Chip is, like, obviously, like, nervously pointing at the helm on her, uh, on her belt. She comes out and is, like, pointing and waving. <coughs> but... <laughs> I'm like, Chip, thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, so... He does have this ability, though. Telepathically, you get a sim system of images in your head, just basically like, bad, don't do it, don't do it, don't mess with it, it's bad. Note it. Um, Uriel looks at the helm and realizes what it is. Is Uriel going to share with the class? I will send yeah. it to him in a second. As soon as it's shared to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, he is <laughs> going to take one look at it and be like, now, why in the nine hells did that come out of an abyss portal? Oh, do you know what it is? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> uh, I got another one. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> Uh, to say the very least, it's not one I would prefer anyone in the party to actually wear. In all actuality, I would actually rather have it destroyed. <laughs> what is it exactly? Consider it shackles to a devil. Well, I don't know how to destroy it immediately, so we'll just put that on the to-do list, and I will... Cross my heart not to put it on until we figure out a way to destroy it. Insight check. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> I have a high feeling you're lying to me right now. <laughs> that is a 19 plus 9. Is that an insight? That's 28. I don't... I, yeah, 28 insight. Yeah. You get the sense of being honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> Big doubt, but okay. I suppose we'll just breathe a sigh of relief and just, uh, I guess call out for like Bayo or someone to be able to figure out where the dragons are at currently. 
Oh, I can use my sending. He's currently depressed and is currently going through a pirate adventure to feel better about himself. Okay, well, I know that, but he doesn't. No, none of us know that. Chip just sends an image to everyone's mind of him turning into a copper dragon and breathing fire on the helmet. They're not copper dragons! You know, they... I don't think fire will do it, actually. It's kind of hot in hell, and that's used to enslave devils. Remember, All right, let's just find the eggs, and we'll deal with it then. I'm not gonna lie. I half expected Kathy to be like, okay, I'm gonna hair flip and put the helm on. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, I said I would identify it first. Um, both you and uh, Natalia may roll an arcana if you so choose. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Oh, 25. 25. Nice. Dirty 20. It is a, uh, it is a helm worn by lords of hell in order to successfully and, uh, to successfully dominate their lessers. Oh. Really? Yes. Would Nat know anything about how they were possibly made or could be destroyed? Well, would Katya know go, what negative side effects she would suffer if she puts hell, it on? Uh, there's a forge you can you can use. Mm. You know, that's where it was made. Yeah. Would Kit know what negative side effects she would suffer if she puts it on? <laughs> um, would I turn into an evil teen in Lord of Hell? Unwanted but that's it. Unwanted attention? Okay. As in, if you use it, if you use its, like, if you use its abilities too brazenly, uh, especially if you're inside Hell, um... People, you know, notice. people, people would become uh, very interested. Noted. Okay, cool. I just realized something. I forgot to spend my ABI, so I put it into intelligence. Chip is no Hell longer yeah. a five int; he's a seven int. I love that for him. We love character growth in this house. He can talk now. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. barely. <laughs> okay. He can talk about as well as knife does. Okay, listen. Knife talks, I think, decently well. She just can't fucking read at all. <laughs> Girl, she's she's picked up did enough we, over here. Do we need to go over how she's literally dumber than a baboon? I don't like playing her like that, though. You know. <laughs> I'll play into dumb some, but I don't want to play a character who grunts and makes monkey noises. <laughs> Chip grunts and points, but he gets the point across, which is yeah, why I still talk as he... Yeah, but it's a it's a preference for how to play a character. I don't exactly. I don't enjoy doing that. Okay, so where's the door that takes us deeper? Do we go into the door that takes us deeper locked door or do we go back into the main hallway or what? I think go deeper if we can get go back into the hallway, see if there's any other doors. If not, <clears throat> go down the locked door. Ooh, wait. Don't I have Do I have Okay. Um I can do the locate object spell. Since we've seen one of the dragon eggs now, I would be arguably, you know, familiar. Well, I I think we had this conversation last time. Oh, that's time right, and it was Barula. just down. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Well, not okay. only that, but that's something that night I would have done, and even she couldn't do it, so. All right. It is her egg. I don't think you can get more familiar than laying it. This is fair. Okay. Um, so, back into the main hallway then? Yeah. I think the only door we haven't gone down is just the locked one, which oh, is, this is a dumb idea. over here. I wonder if, because the dogs have been around night, I would the egg still smell like hers? Probably. So this door is locked? Well, it depends on how long it's been gone. Mm. Also, how many okay. things have touched it? Okay, so this door is locked or is it not open? One second. If it's locked, I'm gonna pick the lock. 
they were trying to push on it really hard, so maybe they just didn't think to pull it as Edix begins to pull on the door. <laughs> the door opens. Okay, I'll go through first, because I'm the high AC. Sometimes I amaze myself. All right. Natalia, what is your AC right now? Um, that is 19. All right, guys, give me a second. I need to, I forget it and set up hide volumes for this. Uh-oh. It's so weird to watch the mushroom blink because it goes one eye at a time. Mm, right. <laughs> I guess what I'll do is do this. How else would a mushroom blink? Tip is going to start purring and rub against Natalia's leg and cast stone skin on you. Oh, what does that do? Uh, the spell turns the flesh of a willing creature you touch as hard as stone. Until the spell ends, the target has resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. It lasts Ooh. for one hour of concentration. Oh. I will say, like, after he casts it, Nat definitely just picks him up and carries him, just petting his little head. <laughs> but hell yeah. So yeah, now you have resistance to all non-magical attacks. Hell yeah. For an hour. Alright, do me a favor, try not to explore the uh, whole area too much. Um, Begin explore. Oh, the map changed. Mm, correct. Oh, Ooh. yep. Tell the, click map. The, tell the click the thing on the left and I'll bring it where you need to be. Did we get teleported all of a sudden? Yes. No, we, no, we just a new board. walked through a door. Just checking. Well, after seeing the entrance way, I wasn't expecting something like this. It's pretty. It is rather nice. I stick my head back out through the door. Is it the same dungeon? <laughs> oh, now it looks less nice. Oh, it's less pretty now. Gotta have that dark and grim, you know? Mm. Grimy. You walk through a door? And let me roll this, by the way. To figure out exactly how See long. what kind of Okay. You walk through a door and uh, you hear like the faint music, almost like a uh, tune has been played, but no, but no one's playing music around you. It's still kind of decrepit, but the door behind you doesn't quite match with the door you went through. Okay. Did we, get, did we get completely teleported? Like, if it doesn't match, is it even the door that we came through anymore? No. So, okay, so are we in a completely in... different place? It's not the door we came through anymore. Awesome. <laughs> Would Nat be able to see if there's like any residual magic around the door frame? What door? I'm just getting just... What do you mean? What door is the door gone now? The door's gone. The door's never there. You said we walked through a door and the door was different. Yeah, you walked and through a door. Doesn't saying... mean you, doesn't mean a door is there. But you just said the door looks different than what it is. I I'm confused, Leo. I feel like you're gaslighting me right now. That's what I feel like. He's always gaslighting us. <laughs> <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. DM? Girl boss. No, no, it's not a girl boss. It's a DM. Okay, well, have you asked him if he's a girl boss? Theo, are you a girl boss? <laughs> what? Are you a girl boss, Theo? I hate you. Sorry, I, I, didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't ask. You know, it was right. I've never asked you. I No, I'm good. Um, Talon, make your check. <laughs> oh, God, Tailspire's crashing. That's a 15. Can't quite put it, but your whiskers tell you something's weird. Yeah, this isn't right. Something's going on here. Nothing that much is obvious. No, the the air smells different. 
Right. Not looking over to where the door fucking disappeared. Ooh. <laughs> you smell um rich like black smoke. As if it's wafting so in the area. Like so wait, fire, if I cast like something's on fire. And it has a hint of sulfur. Ooh. Like Hellfire? Mm. What if we're suddenly in Strahd? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, hang on, real fast. If I cast Locate Object right now, are we still in the same place wherever that egg is? Um, so, I mean, the spell, the, the spell fails regardless if you cast Locate Object. Oh, it does. <laughs> yes. Because remember, like, far the, the, the quote-unquote eggs were located in a place that was being shielded from magic. No, I thought Verula was able to sense them or whatever, but it, the problem was they were just straight Fizzle down. Bang. Fizzle bang was. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Um. All right. So we're in like what? Is this like a feast room? It looks like a uh there's a little bit of cobwebs everywhere. I wanna find where the smoke is coming from. It seems to permeate the entire air itself. Not oh, great. We're in hell, aren't we? Probably. I okay. would be the judge of that. Am I in hell? <laughs> no. It does feel This is bit. not hell. This is not hell. Okay, reassuring. This is hell adjacent. <laughs> awesome. Okay, um, I want to... Tally, could you swing the camera around real fast so I can see the room ahead of us? Yep. Awesome. It's just can I go look at that massive in pillar way. in the middle of the room? Oh, well, Sophia, can you bring me back to the board? Because I, uh, mine crashed, and then I rejoined, and I'm no longer there. I'm in a camp. It says you're right there. I crashed, and I'm not with y'all anymore. Oh, it's crashing again. Nope, just, just ignore me. I'll just... I'm going to look at Catelyn's screen. This is fine. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to make it where it's visible without having a giant door in the way of the video. Did you restart mm -hmm. your game? I did. It's still okay. crashing, so yeah. It's literally, it's back to the not responding. It's going to crash again. I want to go check out the large thing in the middle of the room. Yeah. It is a pillar. Made of... Is there anything on the pillar? Dark stone. Roll a uh, roll an investigation. Investigation. And sixteen. It's like it was made. Like there are long, very deep gashes along the rock, as if that's how it was carved. Like this entire place was carved out of it, and then this thing was left as a support. No, as if whatever tool that that carved it left a very long and deep gash. Okay. Um, if I go around to the side to the bench, is there like a hole in the middle with like a light source, or is that just on it? I can't tell. Yeah, there is. There's like it has it has like fire in there. Yeah. Okay. There's a fire pit in there. Uh, there is no, it, there's nothing's burning. It's just fire. Okay. Is it if I put my hand near it? Is it like hot fire? Yeah, it's hot. Fire just checking. Yep. I'm just checking. Flashback to Nat no longer having fire resistance. Okay. Um. Into fire anymore. Nat, <laughs> Natalia is currently sweating a little bit. Can um, I go to one of the tables and like check like what's in like the pictures? If there's anything in them. Cobwebs. Okay. Is there anything in the room that specifically stands out? Like, are there any, like, anything left on the tables? Is there anything, like, that looks, like, less dusty than the rest? Like, has been messed with? No, everything looks about the same. It's almost like... It's almost like there, were, there was a middle of a feast, and then, everyone, and then everyone suddenly stopped what they were doing. Is there is that a window on the side of the wall? Oh. Yep. Can I go look outside? Oh, 
Oh, well, isn't that beautiful? Wow. Are we underground? I will send you a picture of what you see. Oh, wait. Can our archaeologist Varula figure out where we are? No. We don't have Damn. we don't have Varula right now. Speaking just, of, we, have her we in spirit. also uh, <coughs> can't contact the dragons. I assume we won't be able to here because when I tried it using miracle points, it looked like uh, it was like dial up. Yeah. What did you use miracle <clears throat> The whole message for? didn't come back through. <laughs> Uh, to contact the dragons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, there was a sense of impending doom and a worryment from Night Eye whenever I told her the information that I gave her about the, uh, uh, happening. I don't remember exactly what I did. But something tells me she was worried about this. <laughs> yeah, those look like mine cards, uh, mine tracks to me. Damn it, we're under Osreal. <laughs> oh no, That's not solid. again. Okay. Um so you used miracle points. Could I use one of my uh sending slots and try and do sending to Night Eye? Who? Night Night Wing? <laughs> no, you had it right. Night Eye. Night Eye. Yeah, who? What do you mean? There's no one named the... Night Eye. Oh my god, we're losing our memory. What do you mean? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, okay. Man. Um. No one alive anyway. Oh. Talon, did you just figure it out, Talon? What do you look like? He said nobody alive. Did we go back in time or something? I'm thinking there's some time fuckery afoot. Oh, God. We went back or forward in time. Okay, let's... So, how many... So, there's nothing of particular interest in the room. Is there... It's like there's no table with anything (coughs) in particular on it that I would notice with my 25 perception. So, how many doors are in the room? Hold on. Let me, uh, let me do something real quick. Okie dokie. Queen, hold my hands. I'm holding your hands. I'm so scared. Okay. Uh, Did you get a message, Queen? Yeah. What are you rolling, Queen? I don't know. Was it just a flat D20? Queen? Do I recognize it? Where? Where do I? I t- okay. Um. Jesus. I think I have an idea of what's going on. Okay, oh, so I try. If I'm I right, try, that's cool. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I try to do the sending to Night Eye, and I hear as an echo, as if from within an egg. In response, I hear, "Who are you?" Oh fuck. Ooh. So I'm guessing we have gone very far back in time. If because Night Eye is like in egg form. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna I guess I'm just gonna send um I'm a friend, you'll know me later. Okay. You have um, twenty five words. You do have Dexting? 25 words? Oh my god! You have 25 words! Why did you, you just could, use a sentence? You could have said something to her that Jeez. would have impacted everything but might have saved us here. Saved us how? You could have been like, hey, oh, by the way. Hey, by, hey, by you the had way. A whole 25 yeah. words to work with, and you were just like, don't worry, we're friends. Well, yeah. I don't you want to do time surgery. 
You didn't even use a fifth of your language. <laughs> what is what is Wait, the save for making? Wait, fuckery hurt us. Dex save. All of us are just queen. He said everybody. Everybody. Oh. I'm next to Natalia. Seventeen. Twenty-one. Uh, Twenty-three. I don't know. I think you were at the window when you did. You that. were at the window, that's and that's not over within by the... five feet. Uh, Nineteen. <laughs> Seventeen plus five because I am next. You also oh, you get to state your next to Nat. The DC is twenty. The DC uh, is twenty. I'm, by the way, I'm currently looking at the map and um, I'm within five foot of Nat. My tail spire is not working. Remember, Nat is just yep. existing. It's just at the entrance, right looking now. around. I'm the only one who's moved, so everyone else is in theory right next to Nat. So yeah, uh, twenty three. So DC twelve. So Nat passes. Yep. The world shakes slightly. <laughs> well, it seems that perhaps we've done something that we should not have. I don't believe any of us have spoken a word of prophecy. Okay, so what doors are in the room? You know, the world can shake for reasons other than prophecy being spoken. Right, but they don't tend to do it when we're going into a Arcana! All For who? Everyone. Oh, nat 20 plus 6! Nat 1. <laughs> 17. I can never get a All right. yet. No, no. I need to bring you to a private call, Natalia. Oh no! Wait! Do <laughs> I get to go in I too? Love you. <laughs> what, what, what I had you a do? high roll. I got a 17. <laughs> I got a nat. I got a nat twenty plus six. Somebody grab me as I get yanked into the I'm fucking void. You. I'm holding on to you nope. so tightly. I'm holding on to you better than yeah, those yeah, on the Titanic. I'm scared. All right. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my god. You hear a whisper. Playing with the timeline. Are right, you going back? That's why you should have used all of your words. You use so sending is back and forth. You'll have to use the rest of it. You gotta use another spell to talk. Hang on, Nat, 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 what's up? Okay, so all y'all see is just Nat go pale for a second, her eyes wide, before she kind of shakes her head a little bit and just. It appears that we are playing with a timeline, according to one of the random voices that has seen it fit to whisper. Uh, timelines, you say, rule appearing. <laughs> Not just... You need... I swear we're finding a rule way to put a bell staticky. on you. Rule what? Rule, rule, rule staticky. Look stat. Oh, rule looks staticky. Oh, no. I thought you said rule looks staticky. I was like, what do you mean staticky? That's like, not like oh, shit. Um, and I think Nat just... You're barely coming in. And she's gonna oh, go, that's like, new. <laughs> that's incredibly new. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a guess as to what's going on or whatever just whispered to me, would you? Uh, I'm probably wrong. Just gonna put that out there. Right. As Nat, everyone else just sees Nat talking to herself. <laughs> We're used you, to you it. You see a guy that keeps shepherd's crook slowly come from behind. Talk fast! Quickly, before you get grabbed! Yoinked. Too <laughs> late. He's gone. Okay, so the door we came in is gone. Yeah, Nat's gonna go ahead and hold up a hand just to, like, gather the group's attention. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Edix, I have not been okay a single day since I have arrived here, but I'm fine for, fine for now in theory, just listen. We have done something to mess with whatever timeline that we were on, and... <sighs> This is hard to explain, and I can't show you currently, but it, essentially, when I that ring I wear, uh, it allows me to see, like, a little man <laughs> who, oh, stands, who, exactly, and he stands outside he of our He gets to describe timeline. a little green man. 
<laughs> but he stands outside our timeline and he knows about the threats and other such things and I'm able to communicate with him. He just got yanked completely out before he could even tell me what his guess was. But he has never come in like that. He has never been staticky as if he, the connection is failing. We're not where we are supposed to be and I would recommend as quickly as possible rather that we than get being... out. Exactly, rather than continuing to peek around outside or any other such things. Just looking for a way out. And just as she's saying that, just Nack is that same fucking distant look in her eyes. Kind of shakes her head and just... Who is that? Who is... Just give me a moment. <laughs> Who Through is... the static, please, for the love of God, don't make it the fucking devil. It's not the devil, don't worry, above table. Like, you just, he you just hear, like, the other thread shaking you, it's not the devil. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she just... The devil. The custodian. What do you... Her. What do you mean what we have... Possibly, just give me a second, Chip. What do you mean what have we done... As far as I'm aware, we've done nothing, and if we have done something wrong, then I apologize. Darkness. All of the Aren't lights you? in the room go out. Something tells me she's losing it, guys. I go back over to stand with the rest of the group. Yeah. Um, Boogie. Boogie. And I think Nat just uh, pulls out her shield, just a protective stance in front of the group, like an arm out, and just, you will not win again. You have won nothing. Um, Do you Ka meanwhile, want to share with the class? Natalia is talking to herself, Katya. You see below, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of dwarfs mining under the whips and chains of kobolds. I knew it was dwarfs. Oh my god, so we are... Okay, so the kobold place, the kobold tunnels. Mm. But not... So this is like, what, the kobold tunnels back when they were beginning? Okay, we should go help the dwarves, I think. Unless the dwarves are secretly evil and the kobolds have overthrown their evil oppressors. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> just hedging yeah, your bets there, huh? Hmm. Chip's going to look at Natalia as she's talking to herself and like, you know, I did that before. They throw me into a room with a bunch of padded walls. And he's just going to walk off down the stairs. <laughs> Chip! As Nat's yeah. going to... Yeah, I got to grab him. Yeah. I'm not talking to myself. I'm sure all of you are aware by this point that I sometimes hear voices, not in the crazy sense, in the actually communicating sense. I'm going to message <clears throat> Natalia, just like in the back of her head, and I'm going to mimic just a totally random voice. Sometimes it isn't the crazy sense. <laughs> I feel like she gets an insight check with advantage. What I'm advantage? <laughs> I'm doing it so subtly. <laughs> A message I, is not a silent spell. No, you're literally <laughs> she talking. Knows you're casting no, a spell. No, no, no. I, I, I am so, I am so sneaky. <laughs> you're like Leave a shredder of <laughs> Yeah, and I think I just, Katja, I'm not dumb enough to fall for that. If we want to take something seriously when we are possibly in danger, we're always in danger. We are, but this time I'm a little more concerned about it when. You want to get out? Chip just telepathically sends to the whole group. So, do you want to get out of here fast, or do you want to get out of here after an hour of talking? Because I've got a plan. Sure. He repeats the image of him turning into a copper dragon wormling and jumping off the stairs down nope. to the dwarves. <laughs> Bad shit. Take it back. Mm, not now. Are you sure? <laughs> Wait. You just said, are you sure? Was that Chip or was that Theo? That was Theo. Who is he are you sure -ing? I have a dumb question, Theo. Yeah. He's un are you sure -ing, Chip? Is So, the darkness that we, that came over the room, is it magical in any capacity, or is it just like, torches going out kind of darkness? As in magical darkness for half a second and all the torches went out. Oh, cool. I can see in magical dark. So can I. So what did they see in the magical darkness for a second, Theo? 
That is true. Who has who can see in magical darkness? Me. <coughs> Edict. Intelligence safe. Oh, oh man, <laughs> you're near nap. Add your plus five. I know if I am you near did. nap. Yeah, I, you I did, mean, I said I was going over to near nap, but then he said so. I saw a thing through the through the window. So am I near nap? Seven. You're near nap. You said you came over. Okay. Fourteen. I did rolled a your, seven for my plus did, seven. Did you 24. add your plus five because you're beside nap? I I did. I have a oh. plus two naturally, so plus seven. Seven for oh. my seven. I got twenty four. Okay. Spooky time. Spooky, spooky time. Yee. Are y'all getting ripped away? I don't know. Well, I think something's about to happen to you. Yeah. Something is definitely afoot. <laughs> now is when we finally <laughs> introduce the madness. <laughs> oh, I want to! Oh, okay, we you can do it. We finally get to uh, use the madness mechanics from the Dungeon Master Guide. <laughs> That's a D100 for severity, right? Yep. Uh, 19. Okay. Low is like good. Low is good, yeah. as always. No. I get to say. Low is always good. I always get to say low is good. I get to say. Well, you're supposed to say it before. Okay, listen. I can, I can re-roll. I've been rolling like shit tonight. <laughs> Alright. I think yeah. for severity, low is good. Yeah. Because it's less severe. Yeah, that's how it works. I think that's how it works. That's how we hope it works anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I'm sorry, Edex. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm incredibly sorry, Edex. <laughs> oh no. Actually, um, this is this is interesting. One of the effects of your attuned weapon activates. You have advantage. Roll another save. Ooh, nice. Uh, okay. Go all, go all, go. I don't all. even remember all the things that I'm attuned to. I think the skull. <laughs> it's your weapon. Your like sword thingy. Eighteen. So, um, you see an image of something that would make you totally, absolutely insane for the rest of your life, and then you pull out your sword, see the thread that would have resulted in that, and you cut it. Hmm. <laughs> you severed that destiny. Good to know. Do I lose any charges on it? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I suppose in that moment everyone would just see uh, I guess in the darkness there would be a uh, a bright purple miasma that has like a bright sheen to it that I guess makes like a cutting noise and whenever the lights come back on is just Uriel drenched in sweat Edix, are you alright? Pro probably like his halo came back for a little bit and it's doing like uh Whereas before it was like broken, but now it's like magnetically connecting and disconnecting together all around it in like a circle. Yeah. Nat will definitely like reach out and place like a hand on his arm. Just, Edix, are you all right? Oh, <laughs> I am now. What do you mean you all now? Wherever the fuck we just decided to walk into is really bad. I could tell you that much. Oh no, really bad. You have I... you don't remember what you saw because you cut that away. <coughs> Instead, yeah. you just have this sense of like this big sense of anxiety. So how many doors are in the room? There's the stairs right next to us. Are there any other doors? Uh, that's a good there are, question. There... Yeah, I, like I mean other stairs. There there are other doors. There's like across from the way how southwest from us there's another set of stairs going up into somewhere as well as going down outside and then there is directly south from us another door leading somewhere oh, you know, 
Out of curiosity, Theo. Yes. You could so monkey paw this. Um, Nat has an ability through her book where she can use an action to cast one third level spell chosen by you from it. Um, and after I cast a spell, I roll a d6. The, I, I'll roll one to five. I can't cast again until the next dawn. But would she be able to try and cast a spell to perhaps like help them in some way? Maybe either to get out or to know where they are or something? Like, would she be able to try through her book? I can't I think of a spell. Depends on the really spell he help. chose for it. Mm. My only thought is Augury, but I think Augury would piss a god off. I mean, Clairvoyance would help. What does Clairvoyance do? And which god do you know that you would like to talk to? Fair. Uh, you create an invisible sensor within range in a location <clears throat> familiar to you, range a place you have visited or seen before, or in an obvious location that is unfamiliar to you, such as behind a door, blah, blah, blah. The sensor remains in place for the duration, and it can be attached or otherwise interacted with. When you cast the spell, you choose seeing or hearing. Basically, it's an alarm spell. Yeah, and then you can, it's concentration for up to 10 minutes, and you can switch between seeing or hearing if you want. I mean, she could try to put it back in the room where they were. If it's not quite a lot. It's, it's, it's more of a spying spell. That room doesn't right. exist. Right, but could we she... could play into it here in this room as we go and explore so that she could have the ability to interact with this room, see if anything comes in or if any <clears> hazards <throat> are on us. Or, see, oh, this is dumb. Mm -hmm. um, could she try and place it in the area before they entered the cavern? Like on it, that land, specifically anything that has to anything that has to do with where we were before, just consider it happening. non-existent. <laughs> but that land would still exist, unless like it, the the entire world is it gone. It has to be within range too. Mm. So you're you're just talking as, about basically just assume meters. we're on an entirely different plane is mm. what Theo is getting at. Mm. I want to go check the door that's closest to us and just, like, see if it goes outside or something. The only thing close to us is the stairs heading down. It is no, the a other turn one. around. It is a pantry. Oh, this one? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, I, I assume we're talking about the one down the hall to the right. Yeah, the one, like, the, to the south or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. That yeah. leads to a pantry. Okay, I shut it. What about, I'm just going to move clockwise around the uh, room, checking like the doors. reception in the pantry? Okay. <gasps> If you get ingredients, I want them. Grabby hands. Before. This is not the time nor the place. I know it's not, but as a player, I want them. <laughs> Anything we take from here is going to be rotten when we get back. What's a 34 get me? Um, okay, hold on. <laughs> um, it's not just a pantry. It actually has ingredients that are used for a great many things, including potions. <laughs> and meals, of course. Potions. Nadalia! <laughs> It has 10 labeled exotic items. Okay, uh, Yariel, because he's the guy with the proficiency in whatever the potion making thing is. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, just like Natalia, Yariel, just like, come over here. We'll come over. As, uh, Yariel was rummaging through this stand of, like, <laughs> cases and chests and stuff. And now I'm showing off the exotic ingredients. Yeah, Nat's gonna take a closer look at them. What's there, Thea? What's in the exotic ingredients? Well, for you, I summoned for the cooking ingredients. I know, no, no. That's the what I want. I want, I want find... the cooking stuff. <laughs> Natalia finds some exotic butters. <laughs> What's there, Thea? What's in the cooking stuff, Theo? I'm literally creating that. Relax. Yay! Taps my feet excitedly. It's Tull House cookie dough. 
<laughs> oh, no way. Okay, that can't what? be right. What? <laughs> give. Give, give, hand over. Put in hands right now. Share. Okay, I think I think you're you're a little too grabby hands. Share. I, my I hands just... are reaching through the screen. Literally, grab. also me. Let's grab. We're grabbing together. There you go. Right there in the in the voice chat. Literally yeah. us right now. Give me, give me, give me. Huh. Tiny Hut is a third level spell. Mm hmm. Huh. I love that spell. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm posting it in the, uh, the bookkeeping. Yeah. One second, stop it. Stop the finger in your hands. I never get it. Just do it. Just do it. Inkle Ear of Dwarf, Werewolf Saliva, Tengu Claw, Satyr Sweat, Hippogriff Extract, Harpy Dust, Expiravit Lacrimus, Manticore Fang, Cyclops Eye, Unidentified Scale Tissue. And there's also something on what it looks to be a kind of, um, like a spare trophy. Um, there are two very beautiful golden silver horns with bits of flesh at the end, mounted. Excuse, like, okay. Angel horns. Angel? Angel Jesus horns. Jesus Christ, I horns. take that to, like, fix it later. What do you mean, angel horns? Theo, do those like horns you... look, do those horns look familiar at all? Um... Like like you they're blow kind of, on them, they're maybe. Kind of, they're kind of like opposite. We, it's kind of weird. They're kind of like weirdly curved. Can Nat can Nat just slowly touch them and see if they curve like her horns? They do. Experiment lacrimus. Is the skin? Is the yeah? It's he breathed his last with tears. Is what that yeah. is. But can Nat just um? Is this is the flesh at the end? Is it pink? I like how you immediately go to Natalia being the one who's lost her horns here. When you have a literal oh, angel does Enix standing does... next to you that does... has horns. Does Enix have horns? I thought he lost his horns when he became an angel. Does he still have horns? He's, he's always had he horns. Went into, he went into Johnny's body. He I didn't still, think he still had first, horns. The first thing that happened when he came out of hell yeah, was someone yeah. asked about his horns and he had two poking out of his hair. Oh my god, I don't remember Although this. Although I can, I can guarantee you that Theo doesn't remember what color those horns are. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Theo, with those horns, whose horns Nobody do they else look does. like? Do they look closer to Natalia horns or Edix horns? Who wants to let me identify the horns? <laughs> no. There are there are very thin veins of blue going through, One... like sapphire. Okay, so I take the trophy cup with it. the horns, and I stuff it in the back. I'm like, we're gonna deal with this later. Yee. We don't have a whole lot of time to do anything else other than. There's also a very wide variety go. of exotic meats and cheeses. Natalia, go crazy! I go to the next door, like working clockwise around the room. There's even a cheese in there that was aged twenty years. Yeah, I don't. Here's the thing: I as a player want them. I don't think that's Nat's focus right now. But I as a player, goddammit, it, I want them. <laughs> up the stairs. Up the stairs. Is there a door up there? Okay, yeah, I'll check um, up there. By the way, Akati, you found five gold in there. I did. I stick it in my pocket. Um, uh, when you grab the gold, they start to squish a little bit. It's chocolate. <gasps> don't eat it. <laughs> don't. It's it's addictive. I give one to each of us. Except, wait, can Chip have chocolate? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, yeah. I give one to yeah. each of us. Technically, he's a tabaxi, not a cat. So they have slightly different rules than normal animals. Just checking. Okay, so what's um, up here? Ooh, it's like a throne room or a library or like a war room. It's a war room. Oh my god, it's a game room. <laughs> 
Can I look at the map and try and get a sense of like, does it look like we're, can I like tell where we are by looking at the map sort of? Or is it not zoomed out enough? Um, the area itself, uh, the terrain seems almost unrecognizable. The landmass that you're on is one whole landmass. So we are that far back. So we're like on the continent, like before the continent split, I guess. Yeah. Where right. are you guys Jesus looking? Christ. Do the, the map. Figures... There's a map in the war room. Yeah. Do the figures on the map look familiar in any way to anything we've seen? <gasps> are there treasure chests in the room? It looks like it. <sighs> Can I open them? You open the treasure chest? Yeah. Okay. Deck save. God damn it. 17. <laughs> The chest lunges up a little bit and, and bites at your finger. It's a mimic! And it, and it keeps its mouth open expectantly. Uh, I feed it the chocolate coin. It closes its lid. Give it a nice little pat. I give it a nice little pat. Can I check the second treasure chest? <laughs> it's slightly smaller. I open it. <sighs> Have an idea. What's your idea? Wait, let me open it. Right Go here. ahead and do her thing. What? Deck save. God damn it. Natural 20. You like lift it open, you quickly put your hand back as two eyes appear in the chest. Rude. Alright, what's your idea, Ool? <laughs> Uriel is going to uh, look over at Katya and I suppose Varula too and uh, ask uh, have have either of you happened to have met the Sultan of Osriel? Uh, why do you ask? Because I have a feeling we either we're in a different timeline, <clears throat> we've gone back in time, or some such has occurred here. But judging on the fact that all the landmasses are one on this map and we're in the war room, and by what's going on outside, I'm thinking that we're currently... Uh in a realm occupied by and he will point over to Nat. But before you became you. You mean you mean before the sisters split or after? Before. Mm, after. Before you fought with the Sultan. There's a chance of that, though. Based on what I know, whenever I was forgiven, I truly became Natalia, so I, at the very least, I could attempt to contact one of them, see if I feel familiar and in any capacity. That is where the issue comes in. I don't think you're... You're not uh, one. I don't think either half in this timeline is going to want to see you. As you represent. You as you are now represent them being non-existent. You are their antithesis. By the way, I should note the map on there is your current continent whole. Mm. Not mm. every continent. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. okay. Well. Uh, judging on like that that still counts as at the very least <laughs> being very close to uh the war either before or after at least timeline wise yeah there is I think a... just... sorry go ahead no go 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 there is a third smaller chest on a bookshelf it's locked 
I picked the lock. Inside are just some financial records, but they bear an unusual seal. Something that seems eerily familiar. Is that a red dragon? It's a red dragon in flight. <laughs> Alright, I show I show people. I'm like, yeah, look, look at this fucking thing. Me. So, I would recommend, knowing that now, that we are even more careful. But it confirms that at the very least, we're just in an earlier form of their hideout. Okay, so I put the financial records back. I head back down the stairs. I'm going to go check, like, the next door. Yeah. Um, well, there are no more doors. It's just stairs leading stairs outside. Down. Yeah. There's, so... No, there's, like, a... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so... You already went to that door. It was to the pantry. Yeah, yep, so... The rest of them are stairs down. Yeah. So, out of curiosity, Theo, would I be able to roll anything as Nat to see if, like, she's she remembers anything of, like, when our continent would have had a, like its issue with like a date or anything. You you have no frame of reference. Remember, you're not even from here. Yeah. Yeah, this we, is centuries and continent. centuries ago. Yeah. Are those two yeah. lever things? No, never mind. There's beers. Yeah. Okay, gonna... so I guess we just gotta pick we can't stay yeah. in this room forever, so I guess we just gotta pick yeah. a staircase and go down it. Yep. That and then uh when you like just bring up trying to contact someone, it's just and that is why I brought up the Sultan. Although we've all had our differences with him, if he is the if we're in the time reference that I believe we are, he is probably the only being we have any hope of contacting and not being immediately killed. Fair enough. I as loath as I am to contact him, he has spoken to me before. I could attempt it. He's on the other continent, though. What could he possibly do for us here? You would have... He is a very powerful... I'm He's sure powerful he in our time. We have no idea how far back we've gone. And as I said, it I is, of low. course, if it is the new sultan. If it's the older one, one that you may be more familiar with, then we have no... And we have to go alone. I'm loath to even try, but That's... if it's our best option... Let's leave it as a last resort, maybe. I mean, my idea Fizzlebang still... might be around. <laughs> no. Uh, my idea is still for me to turn into a dragon and see if I can get a I think, army. I think that that's the worst idea you've ever had, so please do not jump out of the window. <laughs> just brainstorm. <Chill>. <laughs> but... <laughs> she's just, as she's saying, she's definitely patting his head in, like, a comforting way. Yeah. Right. But, Lay the land time. Let's go outside and find there out. There is a, uh, there's something right there you just can't pass. Give me a second. I need to close it. <laughs> it's all good. Tree wine time. You've already done it once. We'll do it again. Um, as you guys, uh, kind of like look down it, you notice there is a small pool of blood at the, uh, foot of the stairs. Oh, Nat's, Nat's trotting down. Yeah, I go to do, to, like, find the source. Okay. There is a dead priest who looks eerily familiar, similar to the, uh, to the men you met in the previous, uh, as, as what they would have looked in life if their, if their clothing was not completely threadbare. Can not Wait, when did we meet now... yeah, When did we meet a priest? Well, it's the, the boss skeleton. from the, uh, yeah, skeletons. Yeah. Yeah, so can Nat oh. go ahead and crouch down, and can she tell how long he's been dead? He's died very then... recently. I could reincarnate him if you can't bring him back. Uh, let's, well, we have a cleric. Let's hope she has prepared Revivify. Have you prepared Revivify? If not, Nat's going to try laying on hands the body just to see if it's recent I mean, I have Revivify prepared, but that only works with a minute, so I guess I'll just cast it immediately. Probably done within the past couple hours or so, but... Okay, then oh, yeah. Okay, not soon enough. Yeah, not soon enough. Um, is there anything on the body that like shows how he died necessarily? Like, was he stabbed? Was he, he... was stabbed from behind. So he was betrayed then. Somewhere, Linebeck's ears like start twitching. The angle of the uh, of the blade hints that he was stabbed by someone smaller than him, like a dwarf or a kobold. Or a kobold. 
More kobold. I definitely think it's a kobold. If we reincarnate him, he'll still have his memories. He'll just be a different creature. We can try. I'm, will it have any impact? Do you have that spell? I do. And it, it lasts for ten days. Ooh, wait. No, you know what I have? Speak with dead. Ooh, that's a good one, too. So we can get information. Yeah, I'd rather not burn my fifth level spell slot anyway. <laughs> yeah, but also bringing him back now might end up really bad for us later. Fair. So can we just kind of like move the body <laughs> back inside so we're not where the kobolds are hiding drawers and stuff? Just like bring him inside and then I'll do the ritual inside. I would suggest that we don't move him. Right. As much as I would <clears throat> prefer to lay him to rest. Okay. How um, uh, deep is the wound? Like, what what weapon was used to do him in? Just like a dagger? Um. Yeah. Like a curved dagger, as a matter of fact. Serrated. Almost like it I think was the cut. a bone tooth dagger. That's. It sounds that like the uh. Cobalt weapon. Sounds like a cook decided that they had enough of the orders. Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, if I look <coughs> up, is there anything like are are we underground? If I look up. Yes. Okay, so there's nothing circling overhead. Okay, um, so then yeah, I guess I'll just cast uh. Speak with dead. He wakes up. All right. Think very carefully on what you want to ask him. It. And I think that we need to know how he died. Well, I think he was stabbed. Hello. But if he has details outside of that. Who killed him would be more informal. Oh, and... Don't think that was a question. That wasn't a question. No, That's only the... I can ask the questions. I'm the caster. But who That's not technically him true. What? Yes, better. it is. He's trying to have a D and D movie moment. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I know the exact thing you're talking about because it was in one of the trailers. I know. I know. That's, That's the only the reason questions. I was able to do it. I've been, I've been, beg I've been trying to find yeah. a way to do a scene from, but I couldn't because no, yeah, I didn't want to spoil nobody. But that something. Allowing, allowing it to answer the questions question. you pose until the spell ends. You can ask the corpse up to five questions. So it I. Doesn't, that doesn't say only you. To be fair. Allowing it to answer. Okay. okay. Well. Yeah. It's fine. Make it's sure fine. to yeah. Make sure to phrase whatever you're going to suggest as not a question. Yeah, All right, right, Chip. Yes. <laughs> His name is not Chip. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have some questions we need to ask you, but it's uh, important that you only answer them if they come from me. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort of turn to the rest. It's like, what do we want to know? Do we want to know when we are? Do we want to know if he knows how to leave? Or do we just want information Stop. about I'm not, Stop. I'm not asking him. I am asking the group. Yeah, but just also the question. Stop. <laughs> Let us plan I a book. Imme I immediately know Theo is about to answer that question. So mm. let's get the giggles out so that way he can answer the question and we can move on. <laughs> Because I know he's going to take it. Oh my god. <laughs> Ironically, I don't even think Katya has seen the trailer. I haven't seen the trailer. It, that's what oh, also... makes it even better. Okay, okay. I also have not seen any of the trailers, really. <laughs> so I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to link movie. it so that way you understand. Okay, I've seen so the trailer, though, later. and they are beautiful. I love that the dwarf, that the druid turns into an owlbear, even though technically you can't. You can in one D and D. They're changing. I, I also know. thought it was funny that the bard didn't cast spells. Right. <laughs> yeah, I looked at that. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck is this? Which technically, bards don't cast spells. They play music, and that right. causes the magic to happen. But yeah. that's flavoring. Yeah, they, they uh, had explained it, like, and stuff. I'm like, no, 
I, I wanted to see magic from the barn. Right. All right, all right, back on topic. <laughs> yeah, 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 go, go. Okay, what are your questions? Well, that's what we're figuring out. <laughs> so I turn to the corpse. I'm just Let's gonna be like, start with this. When is it? What is the year? What is that something? When is it, comma? What is the year? <laughs> so that's yeah. one question. One question. All right. Do you know when it is right now? Do you know the year? It is the year two hundred of the new Emporium. Okay, Theo. Do, do we know how far back that is? Reference. Um, it is not a frame of time. You you understand? As in, this is he's talking about. It's two hundred years since the new empire was formed, and you have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Okay. Not even edict with his um, old ass. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Could we perhaps ask him? It's almost like this didn't exist. Yeah. Could you perhaps ask him, Katya, what exactly the new empire is? That will be two of our five questions. <laughs> uh. I feel like I should be more specific. Maybe ask who's in charge in the new empire? I don't know if knowing a name is going to help us. Since everything else we found is not familiar. Alright. What is the new empire that formed? The legions controlled the world elder, led by the dragons, controlled by the Hallmaster. So the legions are led. What? What was the last bit? They took the orb. To answer Sorry. your previous question as well. Mm-hmm. What? You're gonna have to type out all of these answers. Yeah, you know yeah that, right? so lost. <laughs> okay. Okay. So everyone okay. in the party is going to get a telepathic message from Chip. I think that this is we are not in a different time. We're in a different place that is like a different time. It, this is him rationing this out as a seven intelligence, by the way. So give me a minute. I'm trying mm -hmm, to dumb mm -hmm. it down. Mm -hmm. um, but with things are like our world, but not like our world. So maybe instead of trying to figure out what this world is, we need to figure out a connection to our world. We could ask him what he knows about the Nine. Nobody's going to know anything about the Nine. No, I don't think they apply to anyone like they do to us. But perhaps we could ask. Well, I doubt he would have any idea about the threads or any connections they have or imply. Meet him what if, like he's me. What if we just ask if someone were to come here on accident from another time or another place how they would return i think that I, is that shit? gonna be knowledge for a low-level priest no the, they can only answer things they know so yes i mean we could try at the worst he doesn't answer the burned question and all right well then what if we ask, ask if who he the knows. high master is no okay yeah um what would we if we don't know who if he gives us a name? What if I ask where the high master is? Not maybe. He might not know. He might not. Know. He might know a location where he should be though. If there's a central kingdom or anything of that sort. Probably gonna say here. <laughs> All right, so we can ask who the high master is, and then what if we also ask if he knows if anyone else? Cause he came here through a door. So it's possible we're not the first this has happened to. I feel as if that is a very open-ended question because to him, many people come through a door every day. <laughs> no, I just meant... <sighs> okay, but the right. door also disappeared behind us. The door was no. just specifically for us. What we're I mean is we came here. here on accident. So I, it's possible other people have anyone. also come here on accident. I 
don't i'm pretty sure we did something and going through that door that caused something to change we are a incredibly unique variable to what's going on right now there isn't right. even so who is the high master sorry the high master and <sighs> let me get let me tap out his full title Katja. Hmm. But Nat's gonna like reach out and touch her, her arm. For the final question, ask him who the custodian is. Don't I have two more questions? Yes. Okay. So but while Chip's seven intelligence has already lost interest in this conversation, he's going to pull out a ball of yarn and start batting it back and forth while just chanting fizzle bang, fizzle bang, fizzle bang. <laughs> <laughs> Summoning ritual. High Master, Lord of Dragons, Conqueror of the World, the Magnificent Pearlescent, Lonely, the Kobold. Is a Kobold? Lonely? Oh, Lonely. Okay. So, Kobolds are super. <clears throat> you know, it's making Bye. more sense why we saw that reflection of a Kobold when we first entered. So, do we want to ask where this high master is? Or should we ask about the orb? That or whatever spoke to me. It was like darkness, but different. The custodian, I will ask. All right, I'll ask about. But it's the only By the way, to... um, I will say the way his body landed, it was he was trying to come up to the stairs and he was killed in a hurry. Mm -hmm. You could ask where he was trying to go, or why he was trying to go up the stairs. What happened? How did you die, and why were you trying to get up the stairs? She's one. Why were you trying to get you up the stairs? Just say, what were you doing when he died? What were you doing when you died? Trying to warn you, Blet. Trying to warn us? Why would he have been trying to warn us? Those are your questions. No, I have one more. Oh, Kitty. Hmm. Instead of asking... You, a you had asked a previous question that I answered, I believe. Yeah, technically. So. Technically. So what, yeah, what were you answering with, they stole the orb? I don't know. I was writing out answers to the questions you guys were asking. Yeah, we didn't no, ask but I specified about... when I we asked. Didn't ask anything about that that was part of that was part of the one with the about the empire. Yeah. We didn't ask anything about an orb. No. So we assumed that was part about the empire thing. If we need to cast it again, we can cast it again. But I don't think you can cast speak yeah, with the yeah, devil. I think this is a one again. Cast, though. Yeah, it doesn't work again on the same corpse. Oh no. You could ask why he was trying to warn us versus asking about the custodian, but it's the only name that we've gotten since we've arrived here. Oh, that's what it was. I was anticipating that question. Yeah. Oh, so you just gave us a freebie. Yeah. Wait. yeah. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Your characters don't know. Okay. Um, okay, but we can know. Our characters can count to five. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so should I ask why he knows about the custodian, or should I ask what he was trying to warn us of? I think what he was trying to warn us of is it's a more immediate danger, but the only one I heard up there, it was something, a voice, and like many, just, the custodian, what have you done, you foolish cretin? And then I said what I said, and then they were like, I win again. And then I felt like a hand around my throat with claws, and it reminded me of darkness, of almost a fly, but different, if that makes sense. It makes a certain amount of sense, and I agree that that sounds incredibly important, but, but there's yeah, no yeah. guarantee that there's anything about it. Right. Immediate danger. Yeah, what I were you trying to warn us of when you died? His head turns to you. They stole the orb years ago. Mm. 
right. If that's the fifth question. That's the fifth question. So after that, he's just gonna vanish. I think. I'm grabbing everyone's hands. Wasn't there an orb in the original like audio when we first got introduced to the campaign? Uh huh. Yeah, there were like the three of them. Yeah, somebody stole those fucking orbs. That's what they uh-huh. stole years ago. That's why the timeline is like this. I'm grabbing everyone's hands. I'm shaking them. The golden threads are, are jingling. I fucking remember the orbs! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you. I never remember anything. <laughs> um, But, yeah, so... Yeah, and I'm sure the characters would... One blue. One one white, one... one blue. One white. One blue. Not red, white, and blue. Damn, I didn't know we were looking at America today. Mm. Um, Fire, water, and ice. Okay. The color of the three orbs, anyway. Alright. Uh, thank you for your answers, friend. Rest in peace. I think we're going to have to fight some kobolds regardless. We are, but I would rather not charge into a fight if we can avoid it. So looking down, how like what are the numbers right now of dwarves and kobolds mining? Like hundreds <laughs> of thousands. Kobolds are not mining. They're administrating their dwarven slaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean like you know, general number. Easily a thousand. The Battle of Helm's Deep. Oh, okay, so yeah. with that, so this, this not... area at least a thousand. So not a number. So we gotta figure out a way out of this mine. There's even some. Um, since your perspective enough, I'll say this. There's even some um, cobalts patrolling in the back of uh, of Drake's. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Well, I All right. Say I could do some big things, but I'd have to drop your stone skin. Let's leave I'm, that for now. I'm fine with you dropping my stone skin, but before you do anything, Chip. We're going to discuss it as a group. So do not do anything rash, alright? Yep. But I would suggest if we can be as quiet as possible, it looks like wherever we have ended up, the Drakes, well, not the Drakes, but the Cold. Who the bloody hell are you? What? what? Who said that? Where'd that come from? Where, where'd it come from? There is a uh, cantankerous gnome. Who the fuck called me? Oh, hi! Oh my god. <laughs> word, is it like... a blink? Here, if... you want a ball of yarn? That chip tosses the ball of yarn to Fizzlebang. I don't fucking know you, but yes. You yeah. aren't dead. Of course I'm not dead. Is... I can't die. Uh, I, I quite literally hosted a funeral immediately for you. Immediately, Uriel is going to Dexes. head chop Natalia. Wait, what's he doing? Just, the moment Dexes. she says you're not dead, just chop. 31. <laughs> All right. Uh, 21. DC 20. We're all oh, 22. Like Natalia, though. Yeah, you, everyone well, gets a plus five because you're way beside yeah. me. 26, then. Yeah, 22. So DC 20. We so both pass. Well, yep, yep. 16 plus 7. 12. Oh. Uh, you fall on your ass. The world shakes. Like an earthquake? Yes. Vizzleman covers his ears. I hate <laughs> when that fucking happens. What is it? What's happening? Which one of you assholes is fucking with the timeline? Uh, we haven't intentionally messed with it. We walked through a door and we ended up here. Hold on, hold on. You called me. You know me. Yeah. Yes. Ah. <coughs> we are the best of friends. You give us so many no, gifts. No, no. He disappears. What? Nope. You're <laughs> you a just... cantankerous asshole and we can't just... stand you, but we need your help. He le- he he reappears laying down his his legs cross his, his legs cross. What do you say? Just, I mean, we are the closest Uriel, things he has to friends, I think. Just Uriel in the corner, just pinching his nose, like, <laughs> oh my god. We walked through a door in our time, and we came here. We have no idea how we got here, and now we're dealing with a bunch of kobolds that have enslaved a bunch of. Dwarves, <laughs> and there's dragons and monsters and everything, and a grand quest for Fizzlebag to wreak havoc on the status quo. Hmm. That's how it's thought. Every, everything except for that last bit is what's happened. But I like the last bit. I'm last sure you do. Accurate. Did, 
but you all get the te a telepathic message. Guys, I think I figured out how to work with him. I, I'm speaking to him as I would speak to myself. Let me have this. It. Nat's just going to give him a little nod. Chip stands up, reaches into his bag, pulls out a scimitar, hands it to Fizzlebang, smacks him on the back, and says, go have fun. Ah, indeed. He throws it at a cat that's on the top of the stairs. What Not color cat? cat? Black cat. I dive for the I dive like to block the sword from the cat. <coughs> oh, I had a clean shot. It did. We all Olivia as disappears. Red craft. Yeah. We aren't sending you after the cats. I don't care about the cats. I care about her. Always following me. Yeah, her. she's special. Yeah. Fizzlebang, would you happen to know how we get back to wherever we came from? I don't know you people. So, where we come from, you annoyed the hell out of us, and then you sacrificed yourself for right, us. And then, okay, and okay, then, hang on, hang on. Deck that, save, that, DC 30. Oh my god. Uh, DC 30? Yes. That is god, not it. possible. Every yeah, time no, we do... Possible. Every time... Well, I don't know. Natural 20, anyone. Every time uh, we do well, anything that gives anyone information about the timeline, there's an earthquake. You don't say! <laughs> I tried to make Chip that fucking a moron, clear. by the way. Chip is a moron, by the way. Yeah. L yeah. Literally every time someone is speaking, Uriel <laughs> is trying to interrupt to stop you, and everyone keeps okay. speaking. Okay, Chris, uh, do a charisma <laughs> save, uh, Wolf. Okay. Uh... Look to my plus, plus four. Look to my plus, plus fourteen. Plus eight, plus five. Eight plus five. What's eight plus five again? Like thirteen. Thirteen. Oh yeah, plus Add five. Plus five. Oh, yeah. Eight, yeah. Yeah. Eighteen plus thirteen. So like thirty something. So 31. as you're about to as you're about to talk to him, Uriel appears out of the fucking woodwork with his mouth covering you and looks <laughs> you in the eyes and just shakes his head. His Never. mouth covering us? Sorry, his He's head covering, covering your mouth. mouth. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good got it. lord, I know our group has big mouths, but for this much, it's unthinkable. You like just... I said earlier, everything we know... Forget it. <laughs> yeah, you, you just hear, like, calliope music coming, telepathically being transmitted from Chip right now. Hey, Chip. Yes? Nat's gonna reach in her bag. And pull out her snacks. Oh, his eyes get wide. <laughs> I'm going to make you a deal. Uh huh. You don't say another word for the next uh -huh. thirty minutes. And do you see? And she's gonna like wiggle like the the jerky that she made that is like so aromatic, like mwah, ten out of ten. Yep. This is all yours. Yep. So Forger appears at your feet, looking very confused. And very concerned. Yeah, Chip so is going to transform into a dire wolf and sit down on all fours, like do the little doggy bag. Yeah, Nat's gonna go ahead and give him some jerky, and then I think she reaches out for Soul Forger. He just, looks Soul around, Forger. very concerned. Soul Forger. He tilts his head. Do you know where we are? He doesn't answer. There's, oh, no. panic in, there's panic in Natalia's eyes. <laughs> as she's, like, crouching down, like, checking her dog over. Yeah, uh, as you're trying to reach for him, he, like, growls slightly and backs up. Soul Folger, you know me. That's not... That, that, Nat, 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 please, l look at me, and he's gonna, like, grab your face. I need you to listen, like I have been saying this whole time. Everything we know... Forget it. You don't and know that dog. There are many things I can forget, Edix, but not that my That looks house. like a dog you know. That is not your dog. You being here and your connection to who you know him as probably brought it here. But that is not the dog you know. So I think she takes Just a Just like breath. that, it's not the fizzle bang we know. 
and pointing in a random direction. And that is not the lovely cat we know. Right. I understand. If you could let go of my face. He's the cat is currently howling because Fizzlebang is throwing cans of tuna at it. Yeah, so I think Nath, so she's, going, she's going to look towards the dog and just, have you left the darkness yet? He looks very concerned. It's like his mind is being blown. Are you still trapped in it, or are you still wandering in the endlessness? He's starting to look very scared. This dog does not have a sweater on, by the way. Yep, Nat knows it's not hers, but... But it is Soul Forger. Yeah. Chip's going to start grooming Soul Forger to calm him down. He barks at you very aggressively. Hmm. And he runs Better off. Better question. <laughs> Wait, before he okay, runs well... off, before he runs off, I think Nat's just going to just stand up and just put her hands around her mouth. Not She's not going to yell loudly. It's more of like a whisper to get his head to just, do not move, Palo Umbra. Earthquake. DC. God damn it! God damn it! That's something it's already known! <laughs> Man. 12. That's already we known! We all have to make deck saves again. Yep. 20. I, I assume that was already known! Cause they, that's what the Dark Sister specifically called her dogs. That that's means the Dark, dark Sister... He doesn't know, know who you are! But yep. he knows the title! Yes! That's his name. That's like going up to me and being like, Hey, Bob! And then he's just like, Whoa, I never knew I was Bob! No, he doesn't know who you are. You know things you shouldn't. God damn it. We are me messing with Paradox right now. Hey, above you table. are fucking with the timeline! Yes. <laughs> Chip may not understand that. We may not understand it, but as players we should understand this but i assume because that's that's a title god damn it nat falls though because that's a 12 what's the dc to make it 25 an hour is it 25 yep that everyone falls the dire wolf i can't make it yeah i can't make it even with a nat 20 yeah i never stood back up from the last time i fell over <laughs> you just fall over extra it's localized, by the way. Mm hmm mm. Great. They probably know. Someone outside knows that we're up here now. <laughs> it's a paradox yeah. shift. Yeah. So I think Nat no, just covered... No, as covers... in only you guys should be aware of it's happening. Yeah. Oh. Fizzlebang. Oh. Sure. You said when you first got here, someone was messing with the timeline. Did I? I don't remember that. Sounds like something I would say. Yeah. He continues to throw cans of tuna. If someone was, how would they get back to the right timeline? Uh, well, it depends. If, I don't know, they shake like four or five times, uh, probably not happening. We've only done three. Nobody else make a fucking comment. Let's say that hasn't happened yet. Well, first you have to figure out how you got here. If you didn't come here yourself, that means someone else did. Okay. And so if we didn't come here ourselves, they hypothetical people. Hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically. So let's say you're chasing a horse. The horse goes back in time. The horse decides to kick you when you're a child and wound you and limb you. So now you're, you can't chase the horse in your real life. Well, in order to do that, yeah, I guess you have to go back in time and shoot the horse. I don't know. Metaphors breaking down. So it just becomes a cycle. Ugh, I hate that word. So, hypothetically, if someone had sent other people back in time, would they need to find the person who sent them to the wrong timeline, and could they send them back? Hmm. You would have to fix whatever changed. Is there any possible way for the people to get back by themselves? Uh, oh man, 
suppose a couple of artifacts so I could do it. No, one of them was a real stickler. I don't recommend it. Numbered artifacts? No, you got the spinny spinny thing, you got the couple other things. Spinny spinny thing, maybe a device made of glass with sand inside it? Uh, yeah, whatever that is. I think so. Name escapes me. Great. Maybe. If we had that, could we possibly return? Mm, maybe. Wouldn't undo the damage, though. Of course not. What about... Different, different question. Um, in, in right now, we heard someone stole an orb. The dragons, or the high master. Do you know anything about that? No, not at all whatsoever. I don't feel like pressing the issue. Uh, he is very clearly lying. I know, but I don't yeah. feel like pressing it because I don't know what I can ask about. That's Safely. the thing. Um, He's so, like rolling his eyes slightly and kind of like looking to the right. While yeah, now it's going to pull out. Yeah, now it's going to go ahead and pull out the small little knife that she never uses from her bag. Not her cooking knife, just the little knife. Bristle bang. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You're pink. I'm gonna call you Pinky. Do not call me that. I have a name that I will not be showing, but... How can I help you, Pinky? Why don't we make a trade? Oh, I love trades. What you got? So do you remember the cheese upstairs? Matt's gonna hold up a hand and just... They're going to entertain you for all of three minutes, and then I will be back. <coughs> and oh, then you're telling me they will entertain me for three minutes. They will talk to you for three minutes. Mm. All I can teach that's fun. I can teach right. <laughs> you. Natalia immediately red flag. Yep. yep. But when I get back, I will have a little surprise for you. I will give it to you if you tell us what we need to know, honestly, without any tricks. Me tricks? I don't even like tricks. Mm -hmm. Chip just connects telepathically to Fizzle Bank playing the Calliope music. <laughs> With that, Nat's going to kind of stand up just to keep Chip also busy. She's going to pull some of the catnip out of her bag. <laughs> she's going to sprinkle a little on the floor. And then she's going to trot up the stairs real fast, <clears throat> get into that pantry, grab the cheese out. Oh, he is definitely going to drop the wild shape and start rolling in the cabinet. <laughs> yeah, that was her plan. She was like, they, just distract him. Um, she's going to run up the stairs, grab the fancy cheese out of the cabinet, run back down the stairs. Fizzlebang is just... currently yelling at Olivia about how she ran off his dog. Right. And I think Nash is going to give like a little smile to Olivia of apology and she's just gonna keep running down the stairs and just while while Nat is gone having to deal with whatever it is that she's doing <laughs> she has a plan can, can can Uriel go and try and get Olivia and like just separate Fizzlebang in the two she's currently hiding behind rocks and trying to advance and he's constantly throwing to another trying to keep her at a distance can I just catch him as they come by <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, hey. it is midnight. I oh no! Go. Okay. Chip is currently I... rolling in catnip. Yeah, he, yeah, it's he all that matters. The kite. <laughs> yeah, it's all that matters. That was Nat's plan. Yeah, um, nice. Somebody yeah. else gets in the Katya's bag and then like, wake me up when we're home. Yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, buddy. Um, but yeah, Nat's just gonna trot back down the stairs. The very fancy cheese in her arms. As Edix is like catching cans of tuna, <laughs> mouth him mouth a little like thank you, and then once she's down at the bottom of the stairs, she's going to hold the fancy cheese out to Fizzlebang, and just I will give you this 
all of it, this entire thing, if you answer our questions honestly, whatever we ask. You can do whatever I want with the cheese, right? What, wait, what'd you say, Theo? Can he can do whatever he wants with the cheese, right? Insight check, please? Do you really need <laughs> an insight check? I'm really scared about what he's going to do with the cheese. Um, you have no idea what his plans are. He's going to smoke it. Uh, it's not where my brain went. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I think that uh, Nat will just slowly nod and just you can but first you have to answer us honestly <sighs> she's gonna he holds she's his hand gonna, after the cheese you will get the cheese after it's a you cheese answer wheel, right? yes excellent do we have edicts mm. this is more your area of expertise so would you oversee this edicts I don't know what I can have with that name. No, I don't think no I you do. don't. You do not. Do we have a deal? That's a half familiar. Don't worry about it. What does that name mean? Don't worry about it. Put the cheese. Just, Nat's, just, Nat's moving the cheese. You, Nat's moving the cheese to get his attention. Oh, oh, cheese. Yes, right. Do we have a deal, however? You will answer anything we ask you, completely honest, if I give you the cheese. <sighs> Fine. What do you want to know? Gotcha, take it away. I trust you more than myself. And she's like gonna step back towards Edix and just I made a deal correctly, right? I didn't leave any loopholes in that one. You did what you <laughs> what? the lawyer being like, yeah, you know, the lay the, the, the layman's contract. <laughs> Only seeing like thirty gaping holes. <laughs> But yeah, go caught you go. Okay. <clears throat> the orb that got stolen. What do you know about it? Uh, which one? How many are there? Mm, they're stolen now, when, later, uh, never. Kind of all together, really. Right. Uh, what, what about the now? My now or your now? Oh no. I suppose both. Mm. Ah. Uh, he uh waves his hand a little and a little like image of an orb appears. It's got it's uh it is red, but like a red jade. And it has like um a bright green emblem with symbols on it. And it's in the shape of a dragon. Is it a red dragon? It's a red orb, so probably. Or with dragons. Useful. Actually, when you shave off a little bit, too, it's pretty spicy as well. So, it's just as useful. So, is that the orb from your now? Yes. Who stole it? Yeah. I don't pay attention. What about the orb from R now? Same thing. Same orb? Uh, this is going to be where uh, Uriel speaks up. Tell me, uh, do you know the state of... Uh, heaven. <laughs> heaven, hell, the oh, abyss. Yeah. Ah, those things. <laughs> well, they were nice when they lasted. They've all so fallen. none of them exist anymore. Well, conquered, more like. By Lonely? Yeah. He found a really cool helm, put it on, grabbed the orb. Next thing you know, he's rolling the world. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, a helm, you say? Yeah. Why do, why do I have the feeling that Lonely was one of our kobolds from the cove? I have a feeling he was one of our kobolds from the cove as well. <laughs> At least he's not Lenny and friends. Uh, if... They're not going to be hard to kill, they are. 
Right. If you ever those hypothetical doesn't work. Uh, yes, it would be rather a paradox, I imagine. If no, no, no. see paradox, you can deal with paradoxes. But killing an immortal. Yeah. More difficult, right? Yeah, you can turn him into a potato, mash through his stew for some reason. There he is. Crazy. Hey, remember being a potato. So, the hypothetical people who could hypothetically get back with the device with the glass full of sand. Do you know how they how they would use it to do that? Do they just have to turn it, or? Mm, I think so. And is it safe? Wait. The device full of sand. The hourglass. This is above table. You, yeah, you, this is above are table. You a knife oh my. That's all I have. No, above Sounds table. Like... Above table. No, 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 no. That's still. Ours is still around Varula's neck, isn't it? No, yeah. we're, we're saying that you're having a knife moment, that you're just now realizing we're talking about the hourglass. No, I already knew we were talking about the hourglass. It's okay. clicking in my brain that Varula still has it on. Ours. Yeah. Couldn't we just spin ours and go back? That's it yeah. I'm just undo, trying to figure it out how to kill undo us all. the damage. <laughs> we have to fix this timeline to go back to ours. Mm. We can go back to ours, but the damage is still going to be done. Mm. Okay, but like, think of the quote-unquote damage we caused. I messaged Night Eye. I didn't tell her our names, so she just like heard like a voice being like, "Oh, it's okay, we're friends." Um, and then no, Nat... that's not all. That's not all. We were told I went again by the darkness. So if we go back, the darkness has won. What are you talking about? I thought that was, like, in this timeline. Plus, there's now an immortal fucking kobold in control of an army that controls the world. Yeah, we have to fix this timeline. But we didn't break this timeline. It was like this when we got here. <laughs> yeah, Question. but it's now the true timeline. What is your alignment supposed to be? <laughs> Mine? What are you aiming for? As the Dawn Mother, are you really just gonna let everyone suffer? <laughs> everyone turns to the Paladin. Like, I think whatever the fuck we do, it, we have to fix this, is what it's coming to. We have to fix what has happened here. Not but very I mean, how heroic do you... of us to leave them behind. <laughs> it would be cruel. And... In theory, how would we even go about fixing something like this? I mean... It's not like we can just find Lonely, the immortal who we can't kill. I mean, this is an entire world that's been taken over. That's not something we can we just don't need to. We don't need to fight him. Oh, I am? Oh, he's on his throne. Right. Well, Fizzlebang? Yeah. Hold still for a moment, but let us talk. Where's the throne? Feel fast? Oh, he uh, points, like, down the, uh, down the way. Within walking distance, or...? Yeah, yeah, a few miles, I guess, technically. Awesome. You were saying, Natalia? We just need to be able to get around him, get the item we need, and activate it. We don't need to necessarily fight him. And of course, I'm not the, I'm not necessarily sneaky myself, but. As much as I am loath to do it again, I could be a distraction while you and Edix. He's while we what? We, net. we would have to wait. What's it? Varula's neck? What? Uh, Fizzlebank squints at Varula's neck. Yep, Nat's holding up the cheese and wiggling it again, and just no. She keeps it like under her clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Matter. Nat's Nat's holding up the cheese. She's wiggling it in front of his face and just. You know, I can find, I can get you even more cheese if you want to focus on the conversation. He pulls out a book called Hourglasses for Idiots. You know, it's yeah. very rude to ogle someone where her eyes are very clearly about eight inches up. Especially in front of her partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I should, uh, the ceremony? I don't know. Wait. Fizzlebang? Give me a weird sense of deja vu. Fizzlebang? Don't think too hard about it. Don't. But... And that's yeah. gonna go ahead and place the cheese in his hand. Uh, he he is currently reading his book. Okay, okay. She's gonna lay it over uh, top of the book. Three turns right, forward where it need to be. One turn left, backwards where it need to be. 
That doesn't make any sense to me. He throws away the book. Can I catch it? He throws it behind him, so... I go for it. Well, it's like up there trying to comfort fucking Olivia and the book hits the back of his head. No, I got not even book. paying attention to it at this point. He's yeah. done with the conversation. Well, yeah, but that's what Nat was suggesting is she could cause a distraction. Edix and Katya could take advantage of it. We want to get in. the orb? So we want to get the orb? Or... Yeah, so you can get the orb and the well, hourglass. We, we need more information before we act. We do, but as a suggestion... Do we, though? Information seems to hurt us as much as it helps us. Knowledge always Well, helps. regardless of what you think on the information, the point still stands. We have some people here who know of us. Pointing at the dead guy, he came to warn us specifically. He knew of us, even He's though we're not from hours, here. He's been dead for hours, though. He was dead for hours. We just arrived minutes ago. That's, but that means that there was the... someone else that was us. Or the, a version the, of us, is what I should say. The point stands that we have a congregation here. A version of us does that is likely very different than who we are. Uh, more than likely, we probably just took their place. So we need to figure out what our place here was for. Fizzleband? Yes? Are there gods in this world? Ugh, heavy questions. I don't like them that much. What? They're annoying. Don't All interfere with was... human affairs. Don't do this. Don't do that. Bam. Right, but who are they? What do they represent? Ah, uh, words. Wait, are you uneducated? You went to school, um, right? Yeah. <laughs> Never I... been to school a day in her life. Oh my god. Whatever you do, <laughs> don't ask if she can speak Celeste. That is giving Kaya the dirtiest look. He starts singing like, like a harp. Of course she can speak Celestials. He's not a complete moron. Right? I can speak Celestial. I took lessons. Oh. He it's knows the your dog accent. Slang. Okay. She's a, in Celestial. She's a work she, in progress. No, she did not say that in Celestial, but you know what? She will for a moment. He just... tilts his head at the dog slang. Hmm. Don't question it, but please answer what <laughs> I asked That's you. That's fine. Hey, what? Uh, what did you ask? I forget. Oh, yeah, cheese. Thanks. No, 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 no. Hey. I asked you, who are the gods in this world and what do they represent? <sighs> Gosh, mods. Look. Fine. Give me the cheese. Will I get my answer? Yes. Is he lying? What do you think? Yes, and I think Nat just... Remember our deal? The deal was, you will answer whatever we need to know, and then you will get the cheese. Yeah, you're pretty high for a paladin. Wait, I don't know that. How many gods are there? Mm, full, demi, or partial? Um, full. Stop with... Hmm. <laughs> He counts up to his eight fingers and, like, kind of stops. Hmm. He starts over again. Take your time. I don't have enough fingers. Right, what about Demi? My Use my fingers. He, uses, he pulls one of your fingers. Your finger disappears. Thank you. Whoa. Return it. No, give him a second. That's so cool. Kitty, you need your fingers. I have like ten of them. That doesn't mean that you could give one away. Dude, this is great. Wait, you have ten oh, fingers? Oh, it's her finger. I have another one. No. <laughs> I mean, we'll you can borrow it. You out, you know. So there's more than nine. No, there's only nine. I think. Right. What about the what about the demi and the partial? Locals, as you would call them. Locals. 
Something about that yokel folk. Small timers. Uneducated. <laughs> Nat's just biting her tongue for a second, and then she just get you know, on he with wants, it. He wants buys to keep it, so they are gods. You know how it works. All the I start having a bit of a coughing fit. Yeah. No, oh, no, that's it. I just, I'm just like coughing fit. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and I think Nat just looks over towards Katya. He's just... looking at his very pretty finger. Give it back. You know, this is very, you know, honestly, these are like very well manicured. I like it. Oh, thank you. Fizzle bang. Yes. Return it. But. Now. <sighs> he hands Katya back her finger. Put it Did back on. I just like on... stick it off? <laughs> yeah, you, st you stick it back on. It starts to wear. It feels cool. very weird. Oh, I like yeah. twist it around until it feels right. Your index finger is now detachable. That's so weird. No, I was going to give him my pinky finger. <laughs> you want your pinky finger to be detachable? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. I wasn't going to give him my my index finger. That's important. <laughs> now you occasionally need to, like, you know, like, uh, lubricate it up in order for it to, like, get back in the grooves and stuff, you know? <laughs> it's like it's like, a, it's like a 90s cartoon. Try to turn God. a transformer. God. What are the aspects of the small-time gods, as you call them? I swear, you went to school, right? Like, this is all, like, 101. It's a different place than where I was born. It was a different continent. <sighs> he sits down and puts on some glasses. Okay. He pulls up the chalkboard. So you have the locals, right? People. Mm -hmm. He draws He draws stick people. They, and he start, begins to and he begins to write uh, complex mathematical equations. And then draws another squiggle line to, uh, to a god. Pretty simple. I I understand that. I'm asking about the small time gods themselves. Oh, they they come on they come and go like crazy. There is no the need. current ones, the the most current relevant ones. What? They're everywhere. But everywhere. What about the ones that you were saying bought a keep? Oh, that's happened. Like he looks at his fingers a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Alright, I gotta tap out. I haven't had dinner yet. Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll end like here then. 12, 17. Uh, yeah, we'll you end give here him then. The we'll do that in a second. Give me, you give him the cheese roll, right? Yes. He takes it, and then Lex starts, and then rolls it off the cliff. I knew it! Hmm. And everything seems I great. I thought he was gonna, like, set it on fire below. first. I look over. <laughs> There is some very there is a there it landed on a uh, kobold's head. Oh no! Yeah, Nat's gonna race. yeah Nat's gonna grab Kitty by the shirt, pull her down so they can't see him automatically, <laughs> and then I'll start moving as quickly as she can up the stairs. Grab Enix and just Bank go looks down and waves. Nat's already inside. It's just Fizzlebang out there. All right, <laughs> see you guys. And that's all in the session. <laughs> all right, I'm now, also going to dip. What do we call the session? Nobody learns their lesson. <laughs> yeah. All right. Night, y'all. Good night. Bye-bye. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.